Well, to go with TPU or not to go with TPU? That's the question. I'm going to quickly uh, walk you through uh, between the two routes here. So TPU parts versus non-TPU mods. We're gonna start with the TPU route. So the major, the major pro of TPU route uh, is that as long as you can print TPU parts, right? Then uh, B26 to you is gonna be super low uh, hardware. So all you need are just two rubber bands and that's it, right? That's the major pro. So what are the uh, drawbacks? I can see two. The first one, some people just got this 24 seven home defense mentality, always have a run in the chamber mentality. So they should be 26 super seriously, right? So they keep 15 rounds, that's the full Mac, right? 15 rounds inside the Mac, not just overnight, like for days, right? Anytime they think need to practice with B26, they, they want to make sure it's gonna be full Mac and they insert it and they can start shooting, right? Uh, so, so definitely respect that. And, and then uh, they report back to me, they say, hey, Paul, um, I leave it full Mac for days and then I, I found that the TPU part deformed and then I kind of got a problem with my uh, last round hole open uh, function. I mean, fair enough, right? And and I got a question for them is that what kind of rubber, rubber band you are using? Because, wow, that with this kind of tension for days and then you complain about the TPU got deformed. So, I mean, God, they, they must have the best uh, rubber band in the world. And, and they say yes. I mean, they say TPU uh, give offs before the rubber band did. And I trust them. So, yeah, if you have concern of that, don't go with TPU route. The other thing is, okay, if you are truly 2A people, right? And you are like me, you want to play around with this uh, while watching TV um, or, or while uh, watching a uh, movie, right? And then you kept uh, inserting and removing empty magazine just for fun, right? Yeah, just for fun. Then you're gonna find, even with the correct angle of is inserting the magazine, the protrusion of the TPU part here will be hindering the action here. So to solve that, you do have to tilt and then insert. And that's just gonna mess up with your muscle memory, right? If you are actually two-way people, so I wouldn't recommend you to go with this route. But, but once you put even just one single disc and then you can insert it, with the right angle every single time, right? Okay, so that's the TPU route. Uh, right now it's the non-TPU mods, right? So the major uh, pro of this route is that you don't have to worry about the TPU parts anymore. It's gonna be, there's no um, deform to deform parts to worry about. And then you got a really uh, reliable uh, last round hole open all the time. And then you got really uh, responsive um, mixing release uh, motion all the time and then instead of uh, having the protrusion of the TPU part right now you have a solid the solid section here right and then it doesn't protrude much so it doesn't hinder your r correct angle of inserting the magazine or removing it anymore I mean just smooth right The only downside is that you do have to find a small sized uh, compression spring, but I don't think that should be too hard for you guys. So lastly, it's very important for you to know, no matter what kind of routes you choose from, right? Uh, the magazine is interchangeable. And then it doesn't really hinder the function of last run hole, hole open. So yeah, we'll uh, give you the maximum uh, options to choose from here.